Hey, what is happening, guys? And thank you for tuning in to Rules for Rebels. Wanted to talk a little bit about Redbubble today, and I figured we'd also touch on Custom Cat because I've been messing around with Custom Cat a little bit as well. Uh, Redbubble being a platform, you know, like a Teespring or something like that, where it's kind of an all in one platform. And then Custom Cat not really being a platform so much as a fulfillment partner. So uh, Custom Cat is more similar to Printful. Um, if you're wanting to start your own Shopify store or sell through Etsy and you're looking for somebody to print your shirts and ship your shirts for you, uh, Custom Cat would be a solution for that. Uh, I think by far uh, Printful probably has the best interface. Uh, the best user experience is the most straightforward. Uh, however, it's not necessarily cheap. A lot of people really like Custom Cat because Custom Cat has either the six or eight dollar t-shirt depending on um, whether you have a Custom Cat plan or whether you're doing the free Custom Cat light. Basically, Custom Cat used to be $30 per month. Now it's free, uh, but you don't necessarily get all the perks and the breaks on pricing unless you do pay them the $30 per month. I believe now it's called the Custom Cat Light Plan, where if you're signed up for the paid plan, you get their Gildan 200 shirt for $6. If you're not signed up for that plan, you gotta pay $8. So if you're selling a decent volume of shirts, uh, it will be worthwhile in the long run to uh, uh, to upgrade because you know you figure that's what 15 if you sell 15 shirts you're basically at the break-even point to where it would be worthwhile paying for the plan but uh, really I mainly wanted to talk about red bubble so <clears throat> to be perfectly honest with you I haven't looked that much into it um, back in February and March when everybody's merch numbers were hurting when all the tinfoil hat conspiracy theorists were, were out in force talking about how everyone's only allowed to sell four t-shirts per day um, a lot of people were saying I'm leaving merch I'm going over to Redbubble and a lot of people were talking about having success over at Redbubble so I decided what the heck I'll throw up a Redbubble store see what it's all about to be perfectly honest with you I need to dig a little bit more into like how it works what the plans are etc quite honestly I couldn't even tell you what you make per t-shirt um, Maybe I'll make another video going in, into a little bit more depth. But if I'm not mistaken, I haven't bothered pricing anything. I've just been throwing up designs. Uh, but if I'm not mistaken, it's not a platform where you set your price. So with Amazon Merch, uh, how Merch works is they give you a base price and then you set your price depending on what kind of commission you want to want. So if Amazon Merch is charging 15, well, you can set your shirts for 20 and make $5 per shirt. You could set your price at 25 and make $10 per shirt. It's kind of up to you what kind of commission you make. If I'm not mistaken, I think Redbubble prices their stuff straight across the board. So like everyone selling t-shirts for, I don't know, just for example, we'll say $20 and then everybody gets like a $2 commission. But uh, as far as like the interface and everything, very easy to set up. I like that you kind of, you get to put together your own profile. You get to put together kind of a banner. You have your own kind of little shop on there. What's kind of neat is you upload one product, unlike Amazon Merch, who I've heard that there's some beta testing with bulk uploading and stuff. With Amazon Merch, if I want to make a short sleeve basic tee, a short sleeve premium tee, a long sleeve, a noti, and a hoodie, I got to go through the process and create five different listings. What's kind of cool about Redbubble is you upload one design. I think there's like 52 products that they offer. They offer all different types of phone cases, tablet cases, skirts, uh, women's shirts, men's shirts, hoodies, noties, pants, and when you upload a design, it goes on all those different products. Um, creating your listing is pretty straightforward and simple. You have a title, you have a description, and then there's a tag or a keyword section. Uh, one kind of neat thing about Redbubble is if you go look at somebody else's listing and scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see everybody else's keywords. So uh, just for example, let's say I'm making a soccer shirt. I might go look up somebody else's soccer shirt, scroll to the bottom and like steal a bunch of their keywords. Makes it easy to, you know, I always do my own, but makes it easy to kind of come up with a big list. And you're allowed up to 50 keywords, which is quite a bit. So make sure you're utilizing those. Um, if you want below that, you can also manually put in uh, your search descriptions and things like that for I think like Spanish and German. I don't bother with those. I just let them auto translate it. Um, pretty easy, pretty quick to get designs up. Um, everything loads a lot faster than Amazon Merch, so it's easy to kind of go through and crank through your designs pretty quickly. Uh, probably one of my, now I wouldn't even say beef, but the, the one minor uh, annoyance is uh, they're pretty good about placing your image in the correct spot on, on t-shirts or mugs or whatever else, but you will have to go through and look at everything. A lot of times, I notice especially the coffee mugs, travel mugs, and sometimes some of the phone cases, my image won't really fit. Well, it's pretty easy to correct that. All you gotta do is go size it down uh, kind of place the image where you want and you're in business. If you want to do kind of like a kaleidoscope effect where your image is like all over um, 
whatever product you're selling, you can do that too. Um, anyhow, my one sale that I got thus far was a sticker. Um, I think I made 21 cents off the sticker. Um, and from what I've he heard from a lot of people, that's kind of one of the main thing that sells. Most people I I've talked to who sell in Redbubble say, look, the, the two things that sell the most are gonna be stickers and, uh, and, and either tank tops or basic t-shirts. Um, but you know, I, I figured, you know, I basically, there's a niche I'm focusing really hard on with Amazon Merch. I'm rolling out a Shopify store uh, that's pretty much just about done now. Um, and I'm gonna fulfill those with Custom Cat. At least I'm gonna give it a try. Um, oh, but anyhow, I just said, well, you know, I might as well kind of get a presence on all these platforms. So what I've been doing is opening up Merch in one search bar. Uh, I was gonna say Custom Cat Printful. Uh, Redbubble in another. And just like I'll upload a shirt to merch and as I'm waiting for that one to load I'll hop over to uh, Redbubble throw up a shirt there Redbubble's normally a little bit quicker so normally I can kind of crank out a whole listing by the time my merch shirt loads finish a merch shirt finish a Redbubble and go on to the next and I figure as long as I'm making designs what I mean it's probably taking me an extra 30 seconds to upload that design to Redbubble uh, I've only been live for about a week I think I got 50 or 60 shirts live there but you know I had one sale come through uh, again, made 21 cents off a sticker. If I do that like 40,700 more times, I will be a millionaire. Um, you know, it's small money, but it all adds up. I figure it's worthwhile, and I'm kind of trying to create a brand, so the more of a presence I can get um, online, the better. Uh, as far as custom cat set up a Shopify store, I'm using the Brooklyn theme. Um, and Custom Cat was pretty user friendly to get everything uploaded. Custom Cat has an app. Uh, you download the app. You got to create a basic profile name, address, phone number, email, all that jazz. You got to put either a credit card or PayPal on file with them so that when one of your shirts sell, you can pay for that shirt and they'll automatically uh, have that shirt printed and shipped to your customer. One unique thing that Custom Cat does is Custom Cat will actually also uh, automatically send email updates to your customers with the tracking number. Not a lot of other platforms that are automated actually do that for you, so that's kind of a nice little perk. Um, I haven't actually rolled out the store yet, so I really can't comment on um, you know how well uh, the fulfillment process actually goes, how the shirt quality is, any of that stuff. I was actually getting ready to put my store live this week. Uh, I'm gonna order a couple samples, make sure everything's good to go. I initially was gonna do uh, t-shirts, tank tops, mugs, pot holders, and phone cases. One minor beef I have about Custom Cat with phone cases, and I gotta play around with this a little bit more, but ideally I would like to have one listing for all phone cases and then have a drop down box where people could select iPhone 6, iPhone 5, you know, iPhone 5, iPhone 8, iPhone X, Android V20, you know, whatever it may be. Um, however, the way it works, at least as far as I can tell, I haven't actually gone to upload them, but the way that it looks is like basically each phone case I want to offer has to be its entire, its own listing, uh, which to me just kind of is going to clutter the um, navigation bar at the top. So basically, where I'll have t shirts, uh, tank tops, pot holders, mugs, and then I would have to have like iPhone 5, iPhone 6, iPhone 7, iPhone 8. I think that would add a lot of clutter, so I don't know if I'm going to do that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to roll it out. I'm going to order some samples. I'll let you guys know what I think about the quality. I was a little bit hesitant to do Gildan 200 shirts. I, li I really like selling a better quality product. Uh, I really prefer I would really prefer to do either like an American Apparel, uh, a Bella Plus Canva, uh, or maybe even an Anvil. I'm, I'm a big fan of Anvil. I know a lot of people don't like them, but I, I like Anvil. One other thing I've been noticing lately totally off topic um, I went to the Half Acre uh, brewery in Chicago I'm a huge fan of Half Acre beer um, if you guys aren't in Chicago check out your local liquor store see if they have it probably one of my favorite beers of all time craft beers of all time is gonna be Daisy Cutter Daisy Cutter is by far my favorite beer ever my one complaint about Half Acre is I feel like every one of their beers is a spin-off of Daisy Cutter, so like all 20 beers that they offer with the exception of like darker beers and things like that, it's all just gonna be like a lighter version uh, or a lighter gradient of, uh, of Daisy Cutter. But yeah, aside from that, uh, one of my favorite, favorite beers. Um, but yeah, I've noticed them and a lot of other craft breweries that I've visited, everyone's using Bella Plus Canva these days. Um, so that seems to be kind of the hot shirt. That's all, all I really got for you guys today. Um, let me know if you guys are using Redbubble. I'm new to it. Do you guys have any tips, any advice you'd like to share with me? Um, 
or if you guys are planning on getting on Redbubble and you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'd be happy to uh, to chime in if I know anything uh, or if I know the answer to it. So thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button below, and I will catch you guys out on the uh, on the next video.